to BanjoBenClark.com. I am Banjo Ben, your host on the site that teaches you how to play all kinds of stuff. This week is Mandolin Week, and this is one of the funnest lessons I've done in a long time. We're just going to jam today. You want to do that? Let's do that. So we've already had a lesson on the site that teaches you all about what the pentatonic scale is. We're going to really put it into practice now. So I'm going to show you some really cool runs, how to take that basic pentatonic um, little run that we have there and turn it into some, into some really cool licks and then how to move it over the various chords. If you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, someplace like that, come over to the website, BenjaBenClark.com. You can join us as a Gold Pick member like many of you have. Get access to hundreds of lessons on all kinds of instruments. If you're watching here on the side as a Gold Pick member, just scroll down. You have the rest of the lesson content right here on this page. Let's jump in. As I mentioned in the preview, we've already done a lot of work with the pentatonic scale theory, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time here rehashing that. If you're not familiar with the pentatonic scale, um, how you get it and how you play it, down the neck, up the neck, you need to go watch that lesson. But we will do a short review at the beginning. But if you'll remember, a pentatonic scale is a five-note scale, pentatonic five, uh, that chooses five notes from the major scale. Um, and it's a great scale because it's a perfect tool to begin improvising. So at the end of the day today, I want you to be able to take any song in the key of G that uses that standard one, four, and five chord, G, C, and D chord, and be able to play some cool licks over it. This is such a fun lesson. So we're gonna start with that basic pentatonic run that you've probably heard. It's We call it the G run on guitar. It works great on mandolin. But we're, we're going to begin to alter it. First thing we're going to do is introduce some blues notes to it and talk about how you get those. Uh, we'll mess with the timing because I want you to see how you could take a lick that you know and just change the timing a little bit, and it sounds like a completely different lick. Then we'll get into some boogie-woogie runs, which are a lot of fun to play, and then we'll learn how to mix it all up so that if you're presented with a key and G, you can straight up jam over it. That's my goal today. Okay, let's get started. Let's first just learn this straight ahead lick, I'm going to call it. And this is just running right up the pentatonic scale. If you'll remember, pentatonic scale starts with the root of the note, and it plays the first three notes of the major scale. One, two, three. Okay, and then it jumps to the fifth tone, which will be right here. So one, two, three. And then it jumps to the sixth tone right there, and then it starts back over with the octave. But of course, it would get really old to play that all on one string, so we use the next string. So instead of playing here, we start over with the open string, and then we follow the pattern up. So instead of going, we could do this. So that the basic run there, measure two and three, looks like this. Then we're just gonna walk it back down with quarter notes. Let's just repeat that, measure four. So pause the video for a bit and just get that under your fingers. We're just running right up the pentatonic scale, but putting it in the context of a G run, of a lick that fills up a measure. I'd like for you to be able to play that and even have it memorized. Now, here's the cool thing. Um, that little pattern works over any chord. So if our song was to go to a C chord, well, we can just move that same lick to start on a C note, play it, and you would have it. Now, here's the thing. We just played this G run, this straight ahead G run, um, starting on the open string, because that's a G string. But if we wanted to play it on a C string, or for, over a C chord, we don't have an open C string. So what do we do? Well, we need to start it on a C note. And here we go, right here. It starts on the fifth fret. And if we follow that same pattern up, it would look like this. But of course, we surely can't play that all on one string. That would get really old. So we're also going to use the technology of the mandolin neck to switch strings. And that way, it looks like this, measure six. Then we land on another string, C string right there. So that's the same pattern over a C chord that we played over the G chord. And you can hear the, diff the, the similarity, right? Then C. Cool. All right. So when we put those together, we start to sound like we know what we're doing. In measure uh, seven, we just walk back down. And then the song, our sample song, goes back to a couple G chords. 
then we go to a D, and what's interesting about D is it's a perfect fifth above G, and the way that the mandolin's tuned, our strings are a perfect fifth apart if we're going from the lowest to highest. So since we have an open D string, guess what we can do? We can take that pattern that we learned on our open G string, just move it up to the D string, it works for a D run. And that's what we're gonna see in measure 10. Same exact frets that I play down here. Just moving them up a string. And then measure 12, we're just gonna have a little ending lick that we're going to continue to change as we go throughout um, these examples and make it more and more complex. And we're just running back down the pentatonic scale measure 12, sounds like this. Okay, so pause for just a moment. And before we move on and start messing with this uh, straight ahead G run, I want you to be able to get it under your fingers. So just pause the video before you go to the next one here on the website and make sure that you can play that G run. And back down. And then make sure that you can do it over C chord. So start there on your C note. And then of course the D run will be really easy because we're just gonna move everything down one string. Once you have those three, you're ready to play over most songs that are in the key of G, right? Because most songs that are in the key of G are going to use that G, C, and D chord. So just like the example that we have here, use those rhythm tracks and just play through, all the way through, just playing those runs over and over again. And when it changes chords, Once you have that under your fingers, which you're really close to doing that now, then we can start messing with it and come up with a lot more really cool licks. If you're watching here on the website, just go to the next video segment. We're gonna start having a lot of fun. If you're watching somewhere else, come join us over at banjobenclark.com. Let's go.